Mimi lianza kupanda mlonge mwaka 1998. Sikuwa na ufahamu. Ila kuna mtu alitoka Dar es Salaam akaniletea akaniambia ni 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 dawa. Sasa akuniambia ni dawa gani? Ila mimi nilipanda ili baadaye labda nitaweza ku This is the story of the Moringa olifera tree in Tanzania. People also call it the miracle tree. It was given this name because Moringa is one of the most versatile trees in the world. Moringa was already known and cultivated in ancient times in Egypt, Greece and Rome. Egypt is a possible route of the Moringa tree to Africa. However, the roots of the Moringa tree can be found in India. Moringa is considered a superfood. The leaves of the tree are rich in vitamins like vitamin C, A and E, minerals such as calcium, proteins and amino acids. Fresh Moringa leaves contain two times the protein of yogurt, seven times the vitamin C of oranges, four times the calcium of milk, four times the vitamin A of carrots and three times the potassium of bananas. The seeds are high in fiber and have immunity boosting qualities. The trees are drought resistant, grow fast and are easy to cultivate. After you've planted the seed, it takes about 10 days for it to germinate and after three weeks, you already have the seedlings ready to be transplanted to the field. And after that, after four months, you will already be able to harvest some leaves from your Moringa plants and after nine months you'll be able to obtain seeds and it can be taken care of very easy. Moringa is not new to Tanzania, yet until two years ago not many people had heard about it or knew what they could do with this tree. Two years ago I met Karen from JS Foundation. We talked a lot about Moringa tree. I saw it was a very, very good idea. And so we started with the idea to start a farmer's coaching project. A farmer's coaching project because the people here don't own a lot of money with the farming activities. There's a big demand on the Moringa products. And I can see with reintroducing it here again, we are creating a big impact. Agricultural economist Clement Kingo joined the project and Karen, John and Clement jointly came up with a plan to reintroduce the Moringa tree. We did trainings to the people, so we visited nine villages and we met the villagers and we trained them and we introduced the tree. Some of them, they already knew Moringa trees, but they didn't know what they can get from the tree. After many village meetings and organized activities, like Moringa cooking workshops, teachings in schools and villages, slowly but surely, Karen, John and Clement won over their first farmers who started to cultivate Moringa. After the harvest, the local farmers can bring their produce, the leaves and the seeds of the Moringa tree to the demonstration processing station. Here, the leaves are dried with an indoor or solar dryer and later grinded down to powder. The project also spun off other business activities, such as that of MCA Technologies, an Arusha-based startup. Jointly, a robust Moringa grinder was developed that is more adapted to the requirements of the villagers. We always do this to make sure that the powder is very fine. But the results of drying them and grinding them and later we filter the powder, we pack it and we get this. This is Moringa powder and we call it Love of Nature because it's a very natural product, a superfood from a natural tree and we all love it. This is a mini version of an oil extracting machine. 
and using this you'll be able to extract moringa oil from the seeds so after time eventually you'll be able to extract some oil from this machine This is the oil, so this is Moringa oil that you can extract from the seeds. Many processing units are now started as social business in the village, mainly driven by women. Slowly, the word about the Moringa project is spreading and influential locals are getting involved and promoting Moringa's benefits. Moringa is, is called a miracle tree. When you go into nutrition, it has a lot of protein, it has a lot of uh, iron, kutoka mzizi hadi majani. Unapokunywa kwenye chai pia unajisikia mwili unakuwa vizuri. Inatibu na inaweka kinga na inarutubisha. Eh mimi na washauri watu wapande mlonge. We are creating awareness by attending the village meetings where the local gather and we have time to speak to them about moringa, the benefits of moringa, why they should plant moringa. Apart from that, we are organizing activities that will help us promote moringa. We have a moringa tree planting day, cooking classes, but also we have moringa tea day. We also work with schools. The students are having the clubs, moringa clubs, and we are trying to facilitate, get our message that Moringa is good, you can get all these vitamins and it can help you a lot. The project wants to pass on the knowledge about Moringa to a younger generation and what could be a better place to start with than the local schools in the Endamarariek ward. When we were in the school, we had a meeting of Moringa and we had a club. I was one of them and we had a Moringa in the school and we had a club in the school. Mitio inatusaidia tunapata mafuta moringa ni kama mafuta ya kupikia na pia majani yake yanatumika kama mboga Now that the moringa project has been running for two years Karen John and Clement called for a meeting with the village chairman farmers and school teachers to see how they could advance the project even further. Well, I'm very happy you came with a large number. Because we want to know what you think about the project. Although the Moringa project in Tanzania is still growing, it looks back to two successful years. Last year, 2017, we planted more than 15,000 trees. And as well as this year, we planted more than 10,000. The people are happy with the project and uh, myself as, a, as their leader, I'm also very happy because we are now seeing the benefit of the tree. To create even more awareness, the project uses gamification. In November of 2017, the people of the nine villages of the Endamarariak ward enjoyed the first edition of the Moringa Cup, a sports event organized by KSDI, local villages and sponsored by the JS Foundation. People compete in soccer, running, chicken run, running in a bag and weightlifting. The event was a huge success. It energizes and mobilizes young people. Everybody talked about the cup and at the same time, everybody was talking about Moringa too. The Moringa Cup is now a yearly tradition and in 2018, a few thousand attended. It was very nice for me to see after two years that the project is shifting from a uh, real agricultural project into a more holistic project. It's about bringing people together. I'm so grateful I'm part of this Moringa community. Imagine if we can have Moringa trees all over Tanzania. What a great world that would be.